Hey, let's talk a little bit about the replay, since we're not going to get a chance to talk about that. Um, how much, like, so, that, I mean, it was envisioned from the very beginning that there was going to be a new game plus in Ratchet and Clank. Right, there was always a new game plus, uh, but it would never get designed until after beta. Right. Uh, so a lot of work, you know, from beta to gold was in implementing the new game plus mode. Uh, and usually that would be assigned to, uh, uh, you know, one of the junior designers. It's like, hey, what are we going to do for replay this time? Coming up with skill points, hiding platinum bolts, uh, you know, the basics. Ah! Oh, man, so close. This is really hard for a critical path puzzle. It's the last level, man. But it's also a critical path. Like, we never block the critical path with non-combat stuff. Yeah, that's the part that always gets you. There, there we are. There we go. Uh, you want... I'm going to keep going because I'm doing great. You can fight the final boss, though, Mike. I'll let you do that. All right. I love that this ice is so hard that your explosives don't bring it into it. Can I terminate this water? Yeah. I think Is there already a reason for it? I think you have to terminate it. Oh, right, because that platform's not coming down far enough. It's weird. No, that's not it. That's I think we made you use every gadget in this level. It's like a progression. <laughs> like a real progression. It's like a Mega Man. It's like, it's like you've been building up to something. Oh, where did all those bolts? Oh, all the crates fell into the water, and then the crates on it broke. I guess I gotta go in. Oh, wait, what? What's happening? I've never seen that. We haven't done that weight animation anywhere yet. That's weird. So wait, why did we have to terminate the water? We didn't. I think it was just there. Oh. Hmm. Dude, there's gonna be some murder coming up here. So much murder. Oh no, don't move! <laughs> Smooth. Nice. I feel bad, like I don't have enough to say about this level, but since it wasn't either of our levels, it's kind of tough. Yeah. Are this gonna make it? No. Uh, well, this is gonna suck. <laughs> oh, onto a conveyor belt? Well, at least you get partial cover. Yeah, I'm running out of weapons, though. Strafe. That's out. That's out. Uh, bust out the weapons that aren't on your quick select, man. I don't have any good weapons that aren't on my quick select. Chopper. I said good weapons. Hello. <laughs> the chopper just saved your fucking ass. If you'll pardon my French. I need an ammo vendor. I need an ammo vendor in the worst way. Oh, hey! look at that. It's almost like we were actually smart about design for once. <laughs> for once, I like that. Yeah, good, good way to insult the entire design team. Tony. Yep, that's exactly what I was, that's, that was my intention. You're never going to work in this town again. I'm not using that spider buck glove, though. <laughs> what is this? Uh, it's a platform that doesn't move till you do the electrolyzer. You want me to do the electrolyzer for you? Wow. Now, just because you said that, I have to do it now. Okay. I'm just checking. Just don't get all nervous like you did that one time. And then start flipping things for no reason. Oh, look at that. Pro. Pro. Yeah, next time you watch your mouth.
Ooh, we got some grind rail coming up too. Yep. A little platinum both at the end. So it must be an optional grind rail. Thank God for that ammo gun. I know. So that means you're done with the first of two enemy segments. That's basically what that means. We are not... Ah. Not nice at all with, with the enemies in this level. They're brutal. They're all over the place. Die, you stupid tank. Oh, these are tr oh, there's a tractor beam oh, thing there. Oh, yeah. Cleverly hidden. I want to see what that does. It gets, takes me to the grand rail. Oh, yeah? Oh, it must, yeah. That's clever. You should put the inspector bot here. <laughs> just to just to stink up the level a little bit. Yeah. Whoa. Good? Whoa. Should have been. Oh, come on. Just get on there. Oh, were you using my life preservers? Whoa. This is nuts. That oh. was some bullshit right there. What's up? Well played, sir. Ah, I hate when you miss with the big bomb. Does it make you sad? It does. I'm telling you, dude, bust out the chopper. That shit should be on your quick select. Yeah, well, somebody put the sheep nader on there. My mom put the sheep nader on there. Maybe she did. There's so many of these guys. The synthenoids are so close to being upgraded. Rocket attack is actually better than just firing. Yes! Ultranoids? Ultranoid. Oh, the Killanoid. The Ultranoid was uh, in the next game? I have no idea. Or maybe replay. I think it was in the next game. Oh, wow. We don't even let you rest for a second in this level. Ah. That's right. Taste my shotgun. <laughs> That was supposed to be behind the power curve at this point. Shotgun's never behind the power curve. Look at that! I know, man. I'm just I'm just pulling experience and levels all over the place. You know why that is, Tony? It's your pro. This is it. I think this is the final boss, Mike. I'm gonna hand this over to you. Sorry, I'm late. I had some trouble with the guards. No problem. You're just in time. Okay, let's see if this. And Angela is stacked. <laughs> She is trying to tell us something. Bye now. Enjoy the hygienator. <laughs> Remember, you bought it from Steve. <laughs> Steve McCork. Now that I've sold my one million hygienator, I can finance the comeback of the greatest superhero who ever lived, Captain Quark. All I need now is a new galaxy with a new fan base. Did we ever establish exactly what makes Quark a superhero? Oh, what his powers are yeah. or anything? No, I don't think so. Well, I mean, in the Quark comics, he has a blaster and... Yeah. Like, he's vaguely James Bondish. Mr. Fizzwidget! <laughs> that was a dick joke. <laughs> She's so stacked. I could never notice that. I like that before. bleep. There was a story behind that bleep that it, it was always written in the script to be a bleep. I don't know if I remember this correctly. But that black bar wasn't supposed to be there. But Chooch is too good an animator 
And so you could totally tell exactly what she was supposed to be saying. And they're like, you animated that too well. We need to put the black bar on her mouth. Yeah. Citizens of Bogon, I am Captain Quark. I come to you in this, your darkest of hours, to shine the flashlight of justice on your galaxy. <laughs> flashlight of justice? <laughs> As you know, a living menace called the Protopet has been set loose in your galaxy. But fear not, Boganites. I, Captain Quark, have caught the perpetrators. Yes, good citizens, these are the masterminds behind Megacorp's experiment with death. And now, with this... So dramatic. Uh, super electro gadget I invented, I will end the protopath threat once and for all. That's my elixamorph. I invented... <laughs> Ahem. Stay tuned, dear Punching Agile in the stomach, that's, that's a little bit. So thingy and render every protopet in the galaxy completely harmless. Allow me to demonstrate. Whoa. Oh, right, we called this boss the Grimace, didn't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. For some reason. Does that Elixomorph actually work? It used to. I could probably fix it. Come on, Clank. Let's get it back. Oh, look at that guy. Whoa. He gets his own little shield charger and everything. How unfair. So this boss was a bit of a, a difficult one to do because... It's on multiple layers. I think he's also the easiest final boss in the in the PlayStation 3, in the PlayStation 2 Ratchet games. He's probably the easiest final boss that we've done. Is he? Because well, like, Peter did this boss. Peter did this final boss. But he also did Chairman Drek in right. the first boss, in the first game. Oh, and he was relentless. He was super hard. And I think he, they, he went too far the other way because there was a lot of complaints about how hard Chairman Drek was. And so he went very far the other way and made this guy uh, considerably easier than Chairman Drek was. I don't remember that. Really? Yeah. I, I, uh, I mean, I know that this guy is widely considered to be the easiest... Uh, boss of the Ratchet. I don't situation. think it was a conscious decision necessarily, but I think in terms of just, uh, you know, I think when it came time to actually make this guy, I think people were just in general very careful to not Skittish. repeat the same mistake that they made with Chairman Drek. It's true, and Drek was really hard. Yes. Uh, of course, we could beat him because you know we were QA, but right. So we we never raised a red flag on that at all. Am I hurting him when he has the shield on? No. Oh, there's a little bomb for the tractor beam. Are you serious? What am I supposed to do with it? Oh. Hit him with it. And stop the shield. And now murder him. In the face. With my one hit point. Did you know? Did you remember your tractor beam bomb got a little bit of replay here in this? Uh, no, in I this didn't. Little level? I didn't remember it at all. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really have any more fire straight ahead weapons, do I? Whoa! I'm not okay with having one hit point. That's. I'm gonna go ahead and, and go out on a limb and say that that's not cool. I like how he smashes the ground with his face. <laughs> it's very proto pet e. I like that my mini turrets didn't go away. Oh, are you serious? Wow, you're almost out. You're almost, almost out of stuff here. Oh, now you're dead. I guess it doesn't matter. 